New York City teachers refusing to get the COVID vaccine on religious grounds are back in court today. They lost a bid for a temporary injunction last week, but a federal appeals court has granted them a hearing. And on another front, healthcare workers making a similar argument were just handed another win regarding the state's mandate. Mike Sachs is live for us today in Foley Square with more on both these issues. Mike. Yeah, Chris, so more on that health care worker mandate ruling in a moment. Right now, I want to focus on the hearing that began just about an hour ago here in lower Manhattan. I'm going to step aside and show there's a big contingent of protesters on the steps of the courtroom supporting the 10 education workers demanding the judge block enforcement of the health of the education worker mandate for religious objectors. Now, last week, the court let the mandate go fully into effect pending today's hearing, and at least half the plaintiffs say in this case that they've been stripped of their pay. But the judge today seems skeptical of their claim that the city's mandate was unconstitutionally motivated by anti-religious bias. The hearing does continue now. It is probably in its final steps. Uh, that, of course, though, didn't deter the anti-mandate protesters assembled in front of the federal court this morning. And whatever the judge does end up ruling will likely be appealed. Now, this suit is worth, it is worth noting, is separate from an earlier challenge to the city school's mandate that did not present a religious argument and was ultimately rejected by the Supreme Court, specifically Justice Sonia Sotomayor. Meanwhile, a federal judge in Utica this morning has blocked the state state from enforcing its health care worker mandate against religious objectors. That preliminary injunction this morning followed a temporary restraining order the judge entered against the state last month. And last week, a three-judge panel of the federal appeals court here in Manhattan applied that order to a separate suit based in Brooklyn. So essentially, that required a religious exemption for health care workers pending the outcome of the panel's hearing, and that's going to happen this coming Thursday. So there's a lot going on in these legal battles here over the various uh, worker mandates, whether the state health care worker mandate or the city's Department of Education worker mandate. Uh, and re what really ultimately what the court does decide in the health care worker mandate, the appeals court panel later this week, what they decide will have a play, will have some impact on what's going to happen with the city uh, education worker mandate as well, because the issues before them about religious objections to the mandate are quite similar under the law. But we'll be monitoring this as it goes on. And for now, the legal battles continue. I am live outside the federal court in lower Manhattan. Mike Sachs, Fox 5 News. Chris. Back to you. All right, Mike, thank you very much. We appreciate it.